Next, I'd like to introduce uh, Del Norte County Sheriff Dean Wilson. Wave to my kids and wife, okay. Anyway, uh, I want to thank you for uh, inviting me uh, to Weaverville. Um, we've been uh, making this uh, grand tour. I think we ought to have t-shirts with all our, you know, places we've been uh, on the back and dates. Uh, trying to get, it, get the message out. Let people know that uh, this is not just something that's occurring in uh, Trinity County, in Modoc County, in Tehama County, in Del Norte County, in uh, Humboldt County. It's, it's happening everywhere. Uh, the things that are occurring that are eroding our rights. One of the things that was always so critical when I used to talk to the assemblymen and congressmen and senators in Sacramento, when I used to talk to them and talk to them and talk to them, and I said, you know, the, the most frustrating thing about living where I live, like Trinity County, is we have everything that we need. We have all the resources that we need, and we have the people and we have the will to have a viable and vibrant and extended economy. We can have good jobs and make good money and we can live good and decent lives. Hardworking people that just want to be able to fish and to have lumber and to farm and to ranch in those communities. And we have the ability, we have the land and everything that's, that nature has given us and it is a, a absolutely a beautiful place to live. But the government and rules and regulations, not only from the state, but sometimes even local and, and federal, have begun to shut down our ability to have that kind of lifestyle, the ability to live the lives that we want to live. And like Mike said, the importance of the sheriff is that we are the only elected law enforcement official in the entire system. And we take an oath. And we swear that oath to defend and support the Constitution. Lincoln describes the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence as the silver frame around the golden apple, the picture. Because the two of them are inseparable. One does not, can be separated from the other. They enhance each other. And part of that Declaration of Independence is we hold these truths self-evident. That all men are created equal, endowed by our Creator with the name and rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, what is life? What are the tenets of life? It's the ability to make a living. It's the ability to defend yourself. It's the ability to have the things that you need to sustain yourself. Food, water, shelter. And those rights are given to you by God, not by a government not permitted by any local government or authority. You have that right by the fact that you were born into this greatest country and that God blessed you with those rights. And as sheriff, it is my duty to ensure that those rights are protected and defended. The fact that people are waking up, the fact that the Tea Party movement did what it did. In, in 2009, my wife and I, we went to D.C. on, on a whim. People said, oh, you, you know, we're going to show up there. We're going to be there on September 12th, 2009. Come to D.C., protest, you know, object about the, 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 uh, the spending and the health care plan and, and make yourself be known. And the people that put it on, they expected... You know, 50, 70,000 people to show up. 700,000 people showed up from all across the country. People just like myself and my wife that we didn't. Well, we've never held a protest sign. We've never rallied. We never stood. We never were that political other than to run for, for office as sheriff. It wasn't in our nature. It wasn't something that we took care of. But we all saw the direction the country was going like so many Americans have. And we decided that something needed to be done, something different. And so we showed up. And 700,000 people showed up with us. That was a miracle. It wasn't an event. It was a miracle that so many people in our country have woken up to the fact that 
this country, this government, this belongs to you. And you have the right and need to stand up and take direction and decide where it's going to go. Not only on the federal level, the state level, but at the local level. Make sure that the people that you vote for, that you elect into office, those standing, sitting up here and those that represent you, they hold your same values, believe the same way that you do. And hold them accountable. That if they aren't doing what you want them to do, you make it known what you want. And you hold those people accountable. Because that is the only way that we can assure that representative government does not die. And it is in jeopardy as we speak. And it really takes a moment to wake up and take care of our country and protect it. And I depend on every one of you to do so. There's a, a passage that I, that I love. And if I can get my phone to work. <laughs> and it is this one. Okay, now my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Don't you love being old? Yeah, I know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> anyway, this is, yeah, I'm, I'm human, that's for sure. But this is a quote from Winston Churchill, and this sums up really where I feel that we are at this point in time. And still, if you will not fight for what is right when it can be easily won without bloodshed, if you will not fight for when victory is assured, and it, will, it is not too costly. You may come a time in a moment when you have to fight, when all the odds are against you and only the precarious chance of survival. And there may even be a worse case. You may have to fight when there is no hope of victory because it is better to perish than to live as slaves. And today we have that choice. Take the opportunity and stand up for what's right in our communities, in our counties. The sheriffs here are trying to help to stand up and, and protect our land rights, our water rights, and the issues that are, are precious. They're using the salmon in our, in our communities to try to stop agriculture and, and grazing along the rivers. They're trying to use the travel management plan and, and the land management plan to lock up our lands. They're trying to use the MLPA. Uh, the Marine Life Protection Act to stop fishing outside of our harbors and in the areas that we can use that our, our fishermen need to sustain a living. And those are all threats, but we can stop that because the government belongs to us. We just have to take it back. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dean. Um,